This is Bumper to Bumper TV. Other than the rounded lines of the Beetle, this is the profile that is synonymous with the Volkswagen name worldwide. Currently it is used for the Golf platform, which comes in multiple iterations from basic transportation to high performance to electric and of course the company's long proven turbo diesel or TDI if you will. That was the version we got a chance to play with for a week of routine driving around the Atlanta area. It took a moment, but we realized the 2015 version is longer than its predecessor by nearly two inches, while nearly an inch shorter in height than the previous models. For drivers and front seat passengers, that doesn't make a difference. But in the rear seat, the change dimensions provide nearly an inch more of headroom. The real difference is in the cargo area where it grows from 16 to 22 cubic feet of space. That can make a difference in what you can take home from the big box store. In the diesel version, a driver can enjoy a sweet spot between performance and going green, so to speak. The engine is a two liter, four cylinder, turbo diesel injected power plant. While it's only rated at 150 horsepower, there's plenty of punch at 236 foot pounds of torque. The test model came with a DSG six speed automatic that when engaged in sport mode, could come off the line with authority. We also noted that in combined city highway driving conditions, our average was better than the advertised EPA ratings. As for handling, the nearly 104 inch wheelbase needed 35 feet to make a complete circle. But with an overall length shorter than most mid-size sedans, it is easy to park in the ever shrinking urban parking space. Volkswagen has already started with variants on the golf platform with a sport wagon offering. So get used to this size and style of offering from the brand, at least for a while. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper tv at cs.com.